Today we are continuing our exploration of the Sixth Commandment by exploring a subject that is another one of those things that our society has embraced and views as fully acceptable, which is not in any way acceptable according to God, and that is the subject of pornography. It used to be not too awful long ago in our country that if you wanted to see sexually explicit material, movies, magazines, uh, other things that were inappropriate in a sexual manner, you had to go out of your way to get those things. You had to go to a store. You had to go to a movie theater that showed those things. You had to go out of your way to get access to pornography. But nowadays, you don't have to go anywhere to get access to pornography because of technology and the blessings of having technology even in our homes has brought pornography into the home. And so anywhere that you would go online to do anything you normally would do, Netflix is a very popular thing. Uh, many people have access to pornography or pornographic videos through Netflix. Uh, search, en search engines such as Google all you have to do is type a word, click a button, and your browser is full of anything that those who have a vested interest in sharing pornography want to share with you. And then also even something as simple as Amazon uh, is a place where people have access to pornography and pornographic materials. And, and this is a, a very difficult and unfortunate thing because we cannot get away it seems from pornography and so as a Christian we need to know number one pornography is bad it encourages us to look at other human beings in order to gratify our own sinful desires with them and even though we may not be engaging in sexual acts with other people when somebody looks at pornography or turns to pornography it warps the mind and uh, we see that described uh, for us by St. Paul in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 6. He, he tells us there to flee from sexual immorality. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the sexually immoral person sins against his own body. When somebody decides that it's okay to look at inappropriate images or videos, they are devaluing other human beings. They are looking at them only for uh, their physical appearance and they are degrading that person. Uh, pornography, according to God's word, is, is disgusting. It is an absolute, complete abuse of the human body, which was created in the image and likeness of God originally. And it is a way to uh, use it for one's own pleasure. And in America, this is a multi-billion dollar a year industry, and it is everywhere. And there are many people, uh, many young Christians struggle with a, a secret addiction to pornography. Many marriages suffer because when a spouse is, is used to this and goes to this, it causes tremendous emotional damage uh, to their spouse and, and someone else who has done no wrong feeling like they don't measure up in the eyes of a loved one and it is degrading it is damaging it is evil in many many different ways and so when it comes to pornography all we need to say is simply don't go there be on guard be open and honest and transparent with how you use a technology so that the people who are around you don't have easy access to porn put safeguards in place so that people in your family can't go anywhere or see anything without anyone else knowing. Because this is something that Satan is using, it is a tool Satan is using to destroy marriages, uh, to destroy the faith of some, uh, to destroy many things. And there is simply no place for it in a Christian life. And so if you are struggling with guilt or temptation to pornography, please encourage you to reach out to someone that you trust talk to them, confess it, receive forgiveness for this sin, and seek to amend your sinful life. Do better. 
Uh, you deserve better for yourself. The people in your life, they deserve better from you. And so when it comes to pornography, the answer is always no. And may God grant us his grace that we would be given the strength to not go there, whether it be on the internet or into businesses that peddle this material. May we simply as God's people say no to pornography. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, the sinful mind is warped and twisted by selfish desires and there is a constant temptation in us to exploit other people or images or video for our own personal gratification. This is wrong. It is an abomination in your sight and we ask that you would turn us away from this evil. For those whose lives have been damaged by pornography, we ask that you would comfort them with your grace and forgiveness and pour your spirit out on them that they would turn away from this evil that they would find wholesome ways to appreciate other people and that we would be freed from the guilt, freed from the burden that pornography causes and that people may be protected from the evil at work in pornography. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.